So it's really clear, COVID-19 has changed the entire world and we're not gonna go back to the way we were six months ago. For insurance agencies, some of those changes, in fact, probably most of them aren't positive. Uh, right now, agents are struggling with revenue because their clients are going out of business and because those who are staying in business are shrinking. So payrolls are down, sales are down, commissions are down. That means that we're, we're, where we're getting to renew policies, we're getting to renew them for less commission. And we're also going to be giving back commission when audits are done. And it's very likely that uh, because of lower premiums in our books of business that profit sharing may be challenged in 2021 and possibly 2022. It's increasingly clear that the economic damage from the coronavirus isn't going to just be a 2020 event. It's going to be 2021, 2022, possibly longer than that. Some economic experts predict as long as five years before the economy is back to normal. In fact, Jay, um, in fact, uh, the uh, chairman of the Federal Reserve System, that they're not even going to think about thinking about raising interest rates for at least two years. If they're not thinking about raising interest rates for at least two years, uh, much less raising them, it means they have very little confidence that the economy is going to be back in great shape for at least that period of time. So uh, with all that in mind, with those challenges in mind, where are the silver linings? Where are the opportunities? Well, I think the first opportunity is that geography no longer makes any difference at all. People are moving increasingly online to do all of their shopping. Uh, they're doing everything online. In fact, uh, you're probably in your office operating virtually right now. Uh, you know, uh, the uh, sales for Amazon over the last three months are up 26%. Most online uh, sales uh, people are generating revenues. In fact, as the economy opened up in May and June of this year, uh, as retail began to recover, it wasn't retail bricks and mortar, it was retail online. So increasingly, people are sitting in their homes, they're sitting in their businesses, and they're making purchasing decisions online. They're buying things online. Also, they're having meetings on Zoom. Uh, they're going to work on Zoom. So consumer behavior and business behavior is changing. What does that mean for the agent? I think it means that geography no longer makes any difference. You can literally sell an insurance policy across the country from you if you have the appropriate licensing now. You can develop relationships with people today face-to-face -face in a way you couldn't three or four months ago. Not because the technology wasn't there. The technology was there, but nobody was using it. Now everybody's using it. And so that means that you have enormous opportunity to sell insurance anywhere you can find somebody that'll talk to you. And that's everywhere today. It means that you can broaden your market in a way that was never possible before for an agency. And you can also go much, much deeper. If you have a broad market, you can go deeper in terms of your expertise. What I mean by this is that Let's say you're a manufacturing specialist as a commercial insurance agent. Um, well, now you can subdivide manufacturing into smaller niches. So perhaps you want to specialize in plastics manufacturers. Maybe you do that already. Well, you can now go from plastics to injection molded plastics. Further, you could say, I only want to deal with companies that have under 100 employees because maybe you have an expertise uh, or a set of carriers that specialize in small injection molding manufacturers. Maybe you want to specialize in manufacturers who are reshoring their products. Whatever the uh, niche is, think about going deeper in the niche, deepening your knowledge, expertise, and a and also the, the people you're going after. So now instead of having a, a, a list of 200 people in your state, perhaps you have a list of two or 3,000 in 40 or 50 states. And you can reach out to them and deal with them on Zoom just as uh, you used to do by meeting in their office. This is a huge opportunity for agents that's brand new. Another brand new opportunity is to hire people anywhere in the country using the same set of skills. So as you deepen these niches, maybe you need a salesperson that has a particular level of expertise. That person lives in Vermont and your agency's in Texas. It doesn't matter anymore. You can hire people anywhere. And using tools like Teams and 
Slack, and Zoom, you can maintain and reinforce the culture that you already have in your agency, and those people can be just as big a part of the team as if they worked in your office. So that's a huge silver lining out of uh, COVID because people have adopted new technologies and they've moved increasingly online in their purchasing behavior, the shopping behavior, and in every other kind of behavior in their life, and they're not going to go back. I mean, I'm not saying you can't sell somebody insurance in your local town anymore. You can, and you can do that face-to-face -face in a year or two, or when we have a, 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 a vaccine, whenever that is. But don't let that limit you. Think about the people you can sell to today that you can get to electronically. That's a huge silver lining coming out of COVID-19. Every independent agency situation is unique. If you'd like to have more specific counsel on your situation, click on the button or the link in the description, depending on where you're watching this. You can also go to tonycaldwell.net slash contact.